long time, but uh, you are probably wondering why the interior of the car that I'm in looks so much different. And that is because this is my new car. Um, just kind of wanted to go over some channel updates and things like that and just talk about what's going on with everything. Um, and I like driving in the rain. So I figured this was a good opportunity to. So um, you have all probably figured out by now that this is a Mustang. Um, this is my 2007 Ford Mustang GT Premium. Uh, it is finished in the performance white exterior color with um, gray and black interior. The seats are black leather and uh, the dashboard is stitched black leather, which is a cool thing that I've never really seen on the, uh, the Mustangs before. Um, so that was pretty neat. Um, like I said, seats are black leather and uh, the shift knob, steering wheel, dashboard is finished in this uh, satin aluminum trim. And as you probably just heard by my terrible shift, this one is the five speed manual GT. So, uh, I learned to drive stick, mm, I've been familiar with it ever since I was like five or six years old, but, uh, I learned to drive it well, um, probably about seven or eight months ago, um, and ever since then have really wanted to daily drive a manual, um, and so I started looking, not to mention the Fusion was having more of the same troubles with the fuel system and stuff like that. So I just decided um, that it was probably about time for the Fusion to retire. Um, and my friend and I were out just riding around one night and stumbled upon this car sitting for sale at a gas station just by chance. Um, it is a, like I said, an 07 GT Premium. Uh, with the five-speed manual uh, really good transmission I like it a lot um, still kind of learning uh, little tips and tricks with it but overall I'm doing pretty well uh, just takes some getting used to and as I'm sure you can probably hear I hope you can hear over the road spray this one does have the 4.6 liter V8 uh, 300 horsepower 320 pound-feet of torque sounds really really good I like this motor a lot uh, if you all saw my review on the 2006 GT convertible that I did a while back, you probably figured out that I really like the S197 Mustangs, especially the ones with the 4.6 because they're just such manageable cars. A lot of people are like, oh, they're so slow. Why would you want a 4.6 over a 5.0? Well, my main factor was cost. Um, I only allowed myself to spend what the Fusion was worth or less and that's I won't go into number details because there's no reason to um, but uh, we did get this for what the Fusion or less than what the Fusion's worth uh, the Fusion's for sale we're gonna sell it on our own um, trade-in on those cars is just not very good um, so figured we would sell it on our own and see if we can't uh, make a little bit of a little bit of profit um, this one has it had 29,200 miles on it when I got it and right now it has 30,158 uh, so I've done some miles in it I took it I got it last Tuesday this is the following Wednesday that this is being filmed on and I'm gonna try to have this up the same night but if I don't then forgive me uh, but uh I took it to College Station last weekend. That was about a two and a half hour road trip. Um, it did really well. It needs an alignment and one of the wheels is out of balance. But uh, it's overall, it is an extremely, extremely clean car. I really, really am happy with it. I think that uh, for what we paid for this one, I couldn't have gotten a better car. I test drove an 07 or 08 GT. It was black with 60 something thousand miles on it and uh, it was listed at the same price as what we got this for so it and that one was in pretty rough shape 
So this one was a, a pretty good find and a really good deal. Um, I absolutely love the car. Uh, it's fantastic. The transmission's really good. Um, the only thing I'll say about the transmission is the clutch is a little funny. Um, sometimes it's a little bit vague, so you, I've, I've noticed myself riding the clutch more than I want to, but uh, it's really not too bad. Once you're used to it, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, clutch is a little on the heavy side, uh, but again, you get really used to that. I also looked at a 2001 Honda S2000, um, which overall was a pretty clean car. But the owner wasn't being completely truthful about the car, so uh, we decided to stay away from that one. Um, it was a really fun car, just not very practical. Uh, didn't sound near as good as this does, but the gas mileage was considerably better. Um, so overall, I mean, I'm super, super pleased with this car. Uh, You'll have already seen the pictures I inserted before I actually start the video anyway. Uh, it does have the 17 inch uh, aluminum bullet wheels on it. I do plan to add some 18 inch SVE drifts. Uh, for those of you who don't know what those tires are or those rims are, just Google them. They're really popular on Mustangs and they look great. Uh, so uh, they're really, really popular wheels, fairly cheap, and they look fantastic. Uh, I ordered last night, actually, a rear deck lid blackout panel. Um, it's a gloss black panel that goes between the tail lights. And then I also ordered a ducktail spoiler for it as well. So I think that'll look really good. I'm excited to see all that on there, but I have to get the spoiler painted, unfortunately. Um, so I'll be sure and keep you all up to date on the progress of the car and stuff. But, uh, it's, it's just a really fun car. I would do an acceleration run, but these are the same tires that came on it from the factory. They've never been rotated, um, so the rears are considerably more worn than the fronts, and they are a little sketchy, I'm not going to lie. Um, taking off from a hill in the rain is just uh, a little intimidating. Um, it's, it's certainly manageable, but not something that I just want to go out and do just for fun. Um, so, the car is really good. Um, it's not doing, the driver's side is a little bit. All of these S197 Mustangs, the 05 through 09 generation, the vinyl on the door panel, every single one of them I've ever seen were seats. The driver's side is doing it a little bit, but the passenger side isn't doing it at all. So that's good. Um, seats in it are really, really comfortable. I don't think they're quite as good as the ones that were in the Fusion, but the Fusion seats were really hard to beat. I, I can't say highly enough about those. Um, the stereo, this one has the Shaker 500, not the 1000. I sort of wish it had the 1000, but if you get the Shaker 1000, it has a huge sub box in the trunk. Um, I believe it has two tins on it, and they're on the right side of the trunk and they take up a considerable amount of room. So I think I'd rather have the trunk space than a little extra base. Um, this stereo is plenty good. I, it has auxiliary. Um, they added auxiliary in for the 2007 model year, which I was really happy about. Um, I didn't want to have to deal with the Bluetooth nonsense like I did in my Tahoe. That was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so I'm really happy that this one has uh, this one does have the uh, auxiliary. Um, air conditioning works really well. I'm actually freezing cold right now. Um, I like it a lot, uh, the AC. Traction control is either on or off. Uh, some of these I don't think came with uh, traction control. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but very simple traction control. You just, if, if it's on, it's on. If it's off, it's off. Um, so... That is, uh, that's fun. It, it does spin the tires really easily, um, especially with the five speed um, that you can kind of manage how you want to put your power down, whether you want it to be with tire spinning nonsense or if you want to be safe, like I'm trying to do in the rain. 
Um, the gauges, you can configure the color of them. I set them to green because the rest of the interior lights are green. I don't like the green interior lights at all. Uh, I wish they were like a soft blue color like the Fusion was. But, I mean, I think there's ways around that, but I'm not sure. We'll see if I get around to that. Great, if I don't, then that's great too. It doesn't really matter. Um, I did have to replace the wiper blades on it. The ones that came on it were completely crispy. Uh, they just kind of hopped around on the windshield, not really wiped it. So that's a little unfortunate, but uh, I got those taken care of within 48 hours of having the car. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, like I said, I ordered the ducktail spoiler, the blackout panel. Um, I kind of want to do some stripes on it eventually. I'm not sure what kind of stripes. I thought about just two fat dark gray stripes down the center of it to match the wheels. But again, I'm not sure. Um, we'll see what happens. The stripes will probably want to probably be one of the last visual mods I'll do. As far as exhaust goes, um, this is bone stock exhaust, and it sounds really good. It is a little quiet for my taste. I was actually given a set of Flowmaster 40 series mufflers for it, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to put those on. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the way the 40 series sound on these cars that make them sound a little bit like trucks and this isn't a truck this is a muscle car and I want it to sound like a muscle car um, so we'll see I may put those on I probably won't though I kind of want to do like a Bassani or Orla axle back um, something like that something higher end that gives it a really expensive sound um, I know, I know I'm saying um a lot, but I'm just trying to think my way through this video, and y'all know how I am with that. No it, modifications on this car at all. It was bone stock when I got it. The only mod that I've done to it is uh, put a K&N drop-in air filter in it. I thought about doing a cold air for it, but I know with these you have to do a tune if you do a cold air, and I really don't want to tune it. Um, not yet anyway maybe on down the road there's other things I want to spend my money on for it right now like wheels and tires because like I said the tires are a little little sketchy um, it'll get sideways real quick um, I'll kind of do a little acceleration run here so that was about a half throttle run to 60 or so and this car gets out of its own way really well. Um, it's not the fastest car I've ever been in, but it feels fast, and that's what matters to me. Um, it's just a really fun car. I absolutely love it. Uh, ride quality is okay. Um, this is a live axle Mustang. It is a little bouncy in the rear end. Soft suspension is actually really, really, or the front suspension is actually really soft. Uh, I don't know if the shocks are worn out, and they shouldn't be at 30,000 miles, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I may do some lowering springs on it to get rid of that god-awful Mustang wheel gap. Uh, we'll see how the 18s feel out the wheel well first, and then I'll decide if I want to drop it a little bit or not. Um, gas mileage is okay. Uh, highway gas mileage it does about, 20, about 23 on the highway at interstate speeds, uh, 24 if you're going a little bit slower, and I I saw it even up to 25 to 27 when I was stuck behind 18 wheelers, uh, so it does pretty well on gas on the highway, but in town this thing is thirsty, uh, especially if you keep, don't keep your foot out of it, this thing will drink the gas. Uh, it does about, it tells me it does about 16 in town, but I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like it's a little lower than that, but maybe I'm just driving a lot more than I think I am. Who knows? But it's, it's certainly doable. It's not, like, going to empty my wallet in three days. Uh, something terrible like that. But overall, it's just a phenomenal car. I, I've i always liked the S197 Mustangs. When I was young, this was the generation Mustang that got me into Mustangs. Um... Because I just love the way they look. Never thought I would own one. Because uh, of 
course, from a parent's perspective, my mom and dad were always, or my dad mainly, was scared of the live axle Mustang and the, uh, the connotation they had towards them being really squirrely and stuff like that. Which it is if you poke it with a stick, but if you're careful with it, it's really, it's really a tame car. Uh, plenty quick, sounds fantastic, looks great. Uh, interior noise isn't bad. I mean, it's certainly louder than the Fusion was, but it's less refined than the Fusion was, and I'm okay with that. Uh, it's just a really, really good car. I'm, it fits me so well. I love the transmission. Uh, like I said, still getting used to it a little bit, but. You know, in time I'll get better. Uh, I've only had the car a week, so sue me if I have a jerky shift every once in a while. Um, so yeah, that's really pretty much it. Uh, the truck has rolled 70,000 miles. I'll try to do a 70,000 mile update on it. Uh, the Range Rover has like 4,500 miles on it, I think. It's still doing really good, no problems with it, um, except keep getting nails in the tires, which sucks. Uh, truck's gonna need tires again soon. These are starting to wear out and they haven't been the greatest tires. They're Firestone uh, Destination All-Terrains, I think. Um, and my dad hasn't been super happy with those, so I don't think he's putting those back on it. Um, the truck's still doing fine. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, my brother will probably be getting a car sometime around December or so. Um, he's thinking about like a 13 or 14 V6 Mustang. Um, He's not getting a GT, so don't say, don't get a V6 Mustang, we've talked about it. He doesn't want a GT, because he's not really into cars, he just likes the way they look. And we don't want him in a GT, because the 5.0s are extremely powerful engines. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, that's it that I can think of for now. If there's anything else, I'll put it in the, uh, the annotations or the description or whatever. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this update video. If you have any questions about the Mustang, if there's any specific videos you want to see, um, stuff like that, just let me know and I'll do my best to get them put out there. So anyways, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys later.